36. The coordinates of trapezoid ABCD are as such. Trapezoid ABCD double prime is the image after the composition. Reflection over the x-axis and reflection over the line y equals x is performed on the trapezoid ABCD. State the coordinates of ABCD double prime. So, the thing to remember about these compositions is it's like doing two transformations but you don't go left to right like reading. You gotta do the reflection over the line y equals x first and then do the reflection over the x-axis second. So you really have to remember that because if you do it the other way it won't work out the same. And there's a couple ways you can approach it. We can do a graphical method but you can also realize the pattern that happens by working with just one point and then apply that pattern to the other points and that'll get you the right answer as well. So let's, let's go through the graphical method and then I think you'll see the pattern. So where is A? A is at negative 4, 5, so that's here. And B is at 1, 5, which is here. C is at 1, 2. And D is at negative 6, 2. So let's draw this. So that's a trapezoid. And then we're going to reflect this about the line y equals x, which is that line. All right, this is y equals x. Let's grab a different color, and we can do the uh, trapezoid prime. So the first one we're going to do is reflection about that line y equals x. So everything flips to the opposite side. So c prime will be here. It's going to flip to the other side. That's c prime. b will be here. That's b prime. a is a little harder to see because they're getting a bit far away now, but if it's at negative 4, 5, it's going to end up at 5, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 4, which is here. So that's A prime. And then D is at negative 6, 2. So it's going to end up at 2, negative 6, which is here. And we can draw that trapezoid as well. And that should look right to you. I mean, doesn't that look like it's the exact same trapezoid and that it's just been reflected about the line y equals x? Looks pretty good to me. Now we can do the next one, grab another color. Um, now we want to reflect it about the x-axis. So I don't have to draw it, it's already drawn for us. We're going to just flip C prime to the other side and that becomes C double prime. And then B prime to the other side, that becomes B double prime. And then A is currently four units below the x-axis, it's going to flip up and be four units above the x-axis, that's A double prime and then D is 6 below, now it's going to be 6 above. This is where D prime will ultimately be. Oh, I missed it before. This is D prime, and this is D double prime up here. Okay, so let's draw the trapezoid now. It's going to end up looking like this. And the drawing's getting a little cluttered, so I'll just shade it in. This is the final trapezoid. A, B, C, D, double prime. So let's jot down the final answer based on that. A double prime is located at 5, 4. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 4, yeah. B double prime is located at 5, negative 1. C double prime is located at 2, negative 1, and D double prime is located at 2, 6. Okay, so what happened? Let's work with just one point, point A. If you didn't want to do this whole graphical method because it's a lot of work and takes time and you're afraid you're going to make a mistake, just do it with one point and pay attention to the pattern. So let's see what happened with A. A was originally located at negative 4, 5. When it got reflected about the line y equals x, it became 5, negative 4, right? That's where it is here. So basically, you transpose the x and y coordinate. So a prime, you just switch them. This becomes 5, negative 4. And then a double prime had to switch. It reflected about the x-axis. So however far it was below the x-axis, it went above the x-axis. You can accomplish the same thing by just changing the sign of the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate is negative 4. Just change it to positive 4. And that works. So we get the same answer using the graphical method. 
as we did using the uh, using the pattern. So now we don't have to do that. We could just run through that pattern for every point. Let's check B. I'm not even going to look at the graph. Just do 1, 5, switch them. So B prime would become 5, 1, and then take the opposite sign of the Y coordinate. So it becomes 5, negative 1. And does it match? Yes, 5, negative 1. So these answers should work.